I'm back at Groundbreaker. Pravarni needed some bathing supplies for her date. I can't fathom sleeping in a cold metal box like that. Regular. Give me a dirt blanket, a stone pillow, and a night sky. A stone pillow? Really? As if that's any better? Like what? Planet? I know monarchs and moon. I think it counts anyhow. That's right. Anything. Whole other planet. I know monarchs and moon. I think it counts anyhow. Okay, that's cool. Hello. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Mm. You here for a particular reason? Or did yeah, the neighbors am. tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. Well, my engineer's looking to do some deep, clean deep cleaning. Wants to impress Chief Jun Lei. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a whole makeover kit, and I snagged a couple for myself. High-grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. Ew! I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Well, you got a preference, Barati. Oh gosh, I never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Now, if I was a young thing trying to come on all precious-like, I'd probably go with Rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and cinnamon. I guess you could eeny miny mo it. Take your time, dear. A lady scent says a lot about her. Well, since to me smelling good is important. Rosish. When it comes to romance, you can't go wrong with the classics. We didn't have anything rosish in Edgewater. I heard it smells real pretty, though. I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. Okay, well, thanks for your time. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Candy! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the candy. Alright, ladies. Well, I say... I hope this fancy soap we got is extra strength. I'm feeling a mite ripe. You're good, trust me. So, there's your soap. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dustback casserole. Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called a uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. And there's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. All right, we'll figure it out. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. Back at monarch right sorry still bay damn wish i could read so we're back at still bay we're trying to find the dust back castle for Pravardi's little date here i feel like a storm's coming or maybe it's just night sky mixed in with those nasty radiated clouds but we definitely gotta find the castle because i feel like without that the date's gonna be ruined so all we gotta do is find the ingredients find someone who can cook it and oh wow okay so this is the person who could help us 
Whoa, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. Okay. Well, sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Most people don't. Oh. Besides, this place is enough to try anyone's nerves. How's that? Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs? True. Or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls? True. The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. Well, why did you decide to stay in the first place? Sanjar, of course. He had all these glorious ideas about how he'd run Monarch. Rest periods between every work shift. No shift more than 10 hours long. You company folk are all the same. Choose to stay, then complain about the choice you've made. How was I supposed to know it'd turn out like this? It all sounds wonderful. Until you realize there's only a few centimeters of repurposed steel between you and the deadliest creatures in the galaxy. Wow, seems like you want more than centimeters. I could do with a few kilometers of cold vacuum, but that spaceship has flown. Ever thought about leaving, Stilope? Only every day. But in case you haven't noticed, we don't exactly get ships on a regular basis, yours notwithstanding. And even if I did scrape together enough to buy passage out with sublight, which would mean reaching Fallbrook without getting eaten, shot, or dissolved into green goop, what then? You forgot Stab. That's also a possibility. Well, thank you for reminding me. As if I weren't already destined for an early grave. Okay, well, my engineer's looking to get a dust back casserole. Can you cook one of those? That was a real popular meal 10, 20 years back, before the board tucked tail and ran. These days, everybody's had a belly full of salt tuna. They all want borst, and the mushrooms, well, not many venture out of town, what with the monsters hereabouts. I can whip one up for you, but it'll cost. Here's a menu. Oh, yikes. I can't cover this much, Captain. 3,000? You take me for an idiot? No damn castle's worth that much. Try again. Try harder. What? No, Captain. I, I don't want you to do it this way. It's all right, miss. I'm a coward at heart. Made that clear from the outset. Look, Captain. This is the best I can do without putting myself out of business. Okay, I'm glad you saw reason. 2,000 bits is much more reasonable. I'm mighty glad you reckon so. This is gonna take about an hour in the oven. Nothing I can do to speed it. That's just how cooking works. Yo, <laughs> I had to... There we are. Tuck down the cost a now, little bit. if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. Yuck, My but okay. Good, just to smell it, Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much. A pleasure to help such a charming young lady. You're a gentle soul, miss. Be careful with this one, all right? She's kind of a brute. Excuse me? Oh, gosh, my tongue's rumbling just smelling that casserole. Huh, you know what? I'm just glad you're happy. And I feel like this guy was trying to play us, trying to charge us $3,000 for a casserole. Fuck. Sweetheart cake, here we come. We're just finding our way into this Cascadia pad. Apparently, this is where we are able to get our dessert. Which is kind of dangerous, being that there's monsters running around. Trying not to die. But oh, shit! I am so happy I have a type of gun that really just... Knocks people off a bit, you know. Who the hell is shoot? Anyways, I just love being able to just shoot people. Look at this. This definitely just helps with my anger a bit. What? 
the hell is that? This bitch is still standing. You good? Oh, damn, damn! Yo, why are you screaming like that? Plasma weakness. Getting burned too many times has made you susceptible to plasma damage. I don't want that. You see, even though if you take a negative perk, you are able to get a new one, like a new positive perk, I'm still not going to get it. I'm sorry. We are in this abandoned... Ooh. Can I just walk away? Huh? Cool. Here they come. Anyways. So this is closed. How are you gonna come at me knowing that I have a machine gun? Stop being stupid. Aren't those cakes just about the cutest little things you ever seen? Yeah, they really do live up to the name Sweetheart. It's adorable. And hey, I got money. I'm looting off of dead bodies. Like, this is so awesome. Okay, excuse me. The dust bat casserole Mr. Raymond made smells incredible. Oh, I kind of want to take a little taste. But I'm going to be strong. Now look how cute these cakes from Cascadia are. Someone even traced little hearts in them. Oh, I guess that settles dinner. Thanks for hauling me all over creation, Captain. Girl, I got you. You're welcome. Shouldn't you get ready for June Lay now? Well, I was gonna, but then it hit me. What? I got this nice meal all planned out with music, and I got that soap to scrub up with, but I don't got nothing nice to wear, Captain. <gasps> oh, shit! Uh, well, you have anything in particular in mind? I don't have a head for fashion, and I can't really picture myself in something clean and pretty. There's this place I heard of in Byzantium, Jolliker's Haberdashery. I bet I could find something nigh on perfect at a place like that. Huh. Well, you know what? Guess it's a good thing we got that nav key for Byzantium. Vicar would say it's the universal equation at work. I reckon it's just that 90% of everything that ain't crap is in Byzantium. I know this is all a little crazy, Captain, but I think it's gotta be this place. I saw the lady who runs it on Aetherwave, and, well, she made everybody she dressed feel better. Confident. All right, we'll swing by then when, when we can. Thanks, Captain. I know I've been asking a lot, but you help me out every time. You're the best. We are at Byzantium, trying to find a nice little outfit for Pervarti for her date. I haven't been here in a long time, honestly. No. Oh, fuck! Are you kidding me? What the hell? I didn't do shit! Why are we being attacked for? I really don't know why I'm being attacked. I'm just trying to find a nice little outfit. This is not going well. Damn. Oh, that's right. The board hates me. I forgot. Ugh. This is going to be so awkward. How the fuck are we supposed to get an outfit without being an attacked? Seriously, how? And Shit. We're alive. All right, let's go. This is going to be so sneaky. This is going to be like the sneakiest mission just for a fucking outfit. We're getting in, we're getting out, that's it. I'm gonna try and avoid as much guards as possible because I'm not trying to shoot up the whole city. Lord, I totally forgot I had a bad reputation with the board. Oh, man. Okay, so we should be good, right? Why can't something exciting happen around here for once? Okay, so let's run. Anti-crayon, anti 
<laughs> Let's run away. Um. Damn. Let's just fucking run. Nope. Come. Ignore us. Fuck. Fuck. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. I just want an outfit, please. Damn, the board really hates us. Good ass. But it's okay, because if we need to whack some bitches, we're gonna whack some bitches, you know? At least the citizens don't want to get in the way. Appreciate that, because I'm not trying to fight people. Who the hell? Move. Move. Oh, fuck me. Oh, come on. The recruit is dead. I'm just trying to get a fucking outfit, please. Like... Who? Oh. Damn. Okay. Can we stop the killing, please? I just want to buy a fucking outfit. Look, the place is right over here, too. Can we just go get an outfit, please? I'm just gonna... Fuck! Can I just get an outfit, please? I don't think it's possible to get a fucking outfit here, huh? I guess this quest is about to get bouched because... Pravarti, I don't think you're gonna be able to get your outfit, honey. I'm sorry. Nope! Stop! Okay. Right. Right. Um... Let's go pick out a nice little outfit. And honestly, we're stealing everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let's head off, honestly. Seriously, let's get the fuck out of here. Lord have mercy, this is insane. Can we just leave? Do we need to kill every single guard? Actually, yeah we do. Who is this woman? Yo, are we killing off every single guard here? <laughs> this is so funny. Bro, Pervarti, where are we going, honey? You know what we need to do? We need to fucking leave. Holy shit. Oh, fuck! Oh! This is not good. We are literally killing off the board. We are literally killing off all the board members here. I got the outfit, I just want to leave. Who the hell- Wait, is this? Oh my god, I've been wanting to kill her for how many episodes? This is so funny. Are we done? Can we leave? No, we got more people to kill, apparently. Lord! Are they really killing off everyone? No. Let's leave. Alright, let's leave. That's it. I'm the most wanted criminal in this whole entire place. Let's just get the fuck out of here. 
Oh, fuck. Well, then get the fuck out our way, bro. If you don't want to die. Alright. We should be good, right? No one's here? Yeah? Where is this woman? Oh. So do you want to talk or nah? No? Okay. I say we just get the fuck out of here. We've, uh... Done enough. Yo, we're most wanted. Seriously. We basically annihilated all or most of the guards from here. Like I said, I'm not gonna shoot you. I, I just want to leave this place, bro. There's no guards here, so let's just get out. So that was uh, pretty interesting. Killed a lot of innocent people. Well, then again, a lot of the guards were aiming at us, so... We had no choice but to kill them. It was strictly self-defense. And I appreciate you guys so much. I really do. <sighs> let's just, uh, let's just talk here. Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Well, I guess that's everything, then. After all this time... I can... I just have to actually do it now. Y you know, there's there's a part Junlei's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. They only carried them on big colony ships, like the Hope. Hmm. Pervardi, making every little thing perfect won't change Junlei's feelings. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. The next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. I'll send June a message and ask her over. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm grateful for all you've done. We are here safe and sound, thank goodness. Let's, you uh... Before you, pull. you anticipate me. I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? Aww. That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it. Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control here, Parvati, not the gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life. And you're always in control, right? I guess that's kind of like when the filler's shooting 600 cans of near molten cell tuna down the conveyor while I'm trying to tune a belt. Here, stand like me. Just so. Hip square. Lean forward a little. Just equipment. You're just an engineer using it. Ah! Okay. We'll try again later. You'll get it. I promise. Oh my god, this is so cute. Nokia being the teacher. Parvati trying to hit. I swear. Next time we put in the groundbreaker, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask her over. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm having trouble focusing on my work. You know what? Break time's over. And we are gonna go to Groundbreaker so Parvati would ask Junlei out. I just love being the wingman here. It's so cute. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. Okay, well, let me see what she says. All right. She's on her way. Mm-hmm. How do I look? Adorable. You look terrific. Oh, my hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. Back at my little office here. Let me check up on the lovebirds, see what they're doing. <sighs> well, flowers. Parvati looking sharp as ever. Junlei drinking. So I told him, Dad, 
I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my lonesome. What did he say to that? Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used for the canner. A solid half as tall as I was. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I'd get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot that way. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Oh my god, I, they have such good chemistry together. Okay, let me let me stop. Oh my god, that's my so. My father and I were often at loggerheads. He had notions of how the station should be run, and I had others. He was fond of saying, "You think Groundbreaker pays for itself? Someone's got to cover the bills." When I chafed against his deference to the board, sounds like he was afraid of him. He was, and he was right to be. Didn't mean I had to like it. Damn. But yeah, let me just walk away here. I'm really happy for Pervardi. I'm really happy that she was able to find someone who likes her. I'm really happy that she enjoys her company. And I'm glad. And I hope for the best at this point. Oh, there she is. Let me check to see how the date went. I'm curious. Okay, Captain, she's gone. Okay, I want all the details. I feel like running laps around the cargo bay. So she got here, and, well, she sneezed. She said, wow, new soap? And I was like, yeah, rosish. <laughs> Turns out it tickled her nose. Oops. Like she's allergic? And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle-like, and called the cut of my outfit elegant. Ooh. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Bendito. Then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. Mm. Oh my god, that's so cute! Okay, okay, okay. So, you laid out the meal, brought June in, and started the music? She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. I bet you she weren't. she blinked and said, is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us. So it was double authentic. Made by a real live monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarch person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So the meal went well. The dessert too? Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about the things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage and she taught me to build. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she... Got a little teary. Said she Aww. had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. Oh, okay. That's unusually forward for you. One of us has got to be. We're both... June's so reserved and I'm so shy. I, I worried if I never said anything, nothing would ever get said, you know? Yeah, I, I feel told you. told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She, <laughs> what? She talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. Wow. What happened next? Don't leave me in suspense. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! And then she sneezed again, on account of the flowery soap. Mm, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. That was very sweet. Congratulations. It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met June Lay at all. I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy scream into my pillow for like an hour. Wow. You know what? I'm pretty happy for her. I I really am. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.